I dared myself to go and try it <laughs> and it was such an amazing feeling. I'm taking myself on a solo date and I start this a few years ago I wanted to do at least once a month something nice for me and while once a month might be a little bit too much I think I should get back to doing it maybe every every two months or so I'm a slightly different version of myself depending who I'm with going on these flowy spontaneous days just by myself they really force me to pay attention to what I actually want and what version am I when I'm just by myself? Victoria and Albert Museum. cafe was so packed because right now it's lunch break and I just sat down and played <laughs> today on the agenda PM find some squirrels dinner little event at Cezanne and this is where I'm gonna go I wanted to do a little outfit check and I saw a squirrel in this tiny little private garden. I wish I could go in there. gardens and I always feel a little bit nostalgic when I'm here because I used to live over there which is Paddington and I had a favorite tree and I used to sit under the tree with some tea and something to eat and I would usually feed also some squirrels around that area so now I'm trying to find my favorite tree again We are in Malibun, which is my favorite part of London. This is my all-time favorite bookstore. And honestly, I've bought so many books here that 100% hit my taste. There is, for example, Normal People, 10 out of 10. Girl Woman Other, probably 9.5 out of 10. Ooh, Invisible Women, one of my all-time favorites. Same as Why We Sleep. And then we have here, this is going to hurt. Very funny, but also very serious. And educated, another 10 out of 10. At the end of the video, I will give you a little book haul of what I've got. So when I came home, Alistair had made me a hot bath with candles. It was perfect <laughs> because I was freezing the whole day. It was around minus three in London, but it was absolutely worth it. I can't even begin what my what my favorite part was. I definitely loved feeding the squirrels, and when that little bird came into my hand, it was. Like, oh, this is really happening. The Cezanne event, meeting people finally in person that I've only communicated via Instagram with. What else? Ooh, books. I, 
I went a little bit crazy. Let me give you a quick haul. The one from the second hand shop. I already love the writing style. It's about three women that go through difficult stuff in their life. This is one fiction that makes it even more interesting. Then the next one from Dawn Books. I was eyeing this book probably for half a year now, and now I was like, okay, I need to get this. So the next book I can talk about. <laughs> so this will be Alistair's gift for our anniversary next week. Okay, and then last but not least, Harry Potter. <laughs> One of my easiest to read New Year's resolutions is to read all books of Harry Potter this year. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments what you like to do when you go on a solo date. See you next time.